I also need to be able to add things to this node list. So public void add node. I'm going to need an x. So I'm going to call this probably new x, new y, and the string label coming in. And the basic thing I need to do is add a new node, new x, new y, new label. This actually doesn't exist yet in node, so I'm going to need to create a constructor for that. So an int new x, int new y, string new label. And all I'm going to do is assign those in. x is the new x, y is the new y, label is the new label. OK, so now that I have that, graph panel is happy. I can add that in. Graph creator, if state is node create, then I'm going to take the panel, add a new node at e.getx, e.gety, and the text field's text. So label, uh, labels tf. get text. Add node. There we go. Anyway, so I actually don't want to create the new node here. That gets done inside of here. We have add node, the x position, the y position, the label. In the graph panel, it adds the new node. Then the last thing we have to do is after you create this, we should do a repaint, so it actually redraws things. Node. Hey, look, it's a little circle. That's a little small. Let's make it a little bigger. And then I also want to actually draw the text on the label. Um, the other thing is, you may have noticed, when I click, the upper left is the center. That's actually going to be a pain for me in order to figure out, let's say, if I click within a particular circle, whether or not it's been clicked on. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the node itself and basically set the x and y position to be the center of the circle. And I'll actually draw things calculated based on that. So x and y is going to actually be 20 over from where this is. So when I click on a spot, I want to center it there. So when I'm drawing, what I'll do is this node list get x is actually going to be half of the width here. And this y is going to be half of the height. So now I've actually centered it. So the x and y of the node is actually its center now. If I need to change these numbers, this is basically the width and the height, and this will be half of that. The last thing I should do is actually draw the label, which is drawing a string. The string I want is node list dot get a dot get string. Get string. What are you? Get label. And this is going to be actually at the x and y. So it's node list, get a, get x, and y. We'll try that for now. Uh, this turns out to be actually the lower left of text is the way that it ends up drawing. So notice that that's the lower left of it. Maybe I want it further to the left. It's up to you how you want to actually format it. But now, if I go in here, I can actually start creating my circles on my graph. 
All right, so now that I have this particular node list, now I need to actually create edges. So I'm gonna create a new class, edge. And actually, rather than having it use an X and a Y component or something like that, an edge is actually gonna have two nodes that are the connection points. So I'm gonna have node first and node second. A node is also going to have a label, so it's gonna have a string. And then I need to, much in the same way as nodes, um, be able to create one by passing in an, uh, two circles and a label. And then I need the getters and setters for it. Let's create the getters and setters. And then I need the constructor. So this is going to have node new first, node new second, string new label. And I'm just going to pass those in. First is new first, second is new second, label is new label. So that's the same idea as the node class. The graph panel is going to be very similar in that it's going to basically go through an array list of edges and draw each of those. So I'm actually going to have an array list of edges as well. I can reuse A because uh, it's done at this point in the for loop. And then basically here I'm going to be drawing a line. 